We are back with KC40, June 24. A welterweight clash between Samuel Eriksson and Alexandra Budabek. Don't miss KC40, June 24th, Miami, Florida. I was born in South Korea. As fate would have it, I was adopted as a baby and I began my new life in Sweden with my family. I am incredibly close to my family, especially my grandmother. They all supported me in my choices and I laughed because I never enjoyed the competition of it all. I loved the training. In addition to my training, I began to incorporate weight and gym training and each medium complemented each other so well. I was gaining both strength and muscle. So in 2017, I did the most natural thing for young martial artists to do. I signed myself up for a local MMA fight and was matched with a top-ranked fighter in Sweden. I ended up losing that fight and took a step back from MMA. But I didn't want people to think this was the end of the road for me. I had to refocus and my focus went to sharing my knowledge on my Instagram page. My goal was to show that I'm a great martial artist and that the chokeout didn't take me out. One day, a video I posted went viral. It caught fire. Before I knew it, people I never thought in a million years even knew I existed started talking about me. Joe Rogan, Conor McGregor, it was insane, in the best way. People recognized me not as someone who got beat in the cage, but as a great martial artist. When I originally started to work with Karate Combat, my goal was to come on to do reaction videos, but life had another twist and turn for me. My original debut was supposed to be in November of 2020, but as we all know, the world had other plans with the pandemic. We were all affected in our own very personal ways and had to quickly learn to change and to adapt. I needed to be there for my dear grandmother who fell ill, coincidentally, during the pandemic. I am thankful for the delay because I was able to be with her before she passed, which was the hardest thing I could imagine that came true. There was no way I was able to focus and train and get in that pit with so much weight on my shoulders and sadness in my heart. But I was home and my family were here for each other and slowly, somehow, we crawled out of this darkness and began to heal. I'm here because through life's twists and turns, through hardship and hard work, I've learned to never stop working and to never give up and I can only hope that I can inspire others with my story. Ce ring, ce ring spécial, il est très très stressant, mais franchement excitant. Arriver avec les caméras, cette fosse impressionnante, je vous dis que ça fait un peu peur. Je m'appelle Alexandre Bouderban, je suis actuellement prof de karaté, je suis modèle photo et je suis là pour tout déchirer, pour gagner, vous faire kiffer. Mon premier combat à Budapest, il a été très rapide. Donc avant le combat, j'ai vu la reine et je me suis dit... Ça, Alex, c'est pour toi. C'est pour toi parce que les caméras autour, les gens qui te regardent, les gens qui te sifflent, les gens qui t'aiment, ça m'a excité. Donc j'ai commencé le combat, je savais pas trop où j'étais, il me saisit, il me retourne. Et là, mon cerveau, hop, Alex, c'est maintenant ou alors tu vas mourir. Le karaté combat, c'est vraiment du pied-point plein contact. Donc j'y suis allé, je l'ai tapé toutes mes forces et à la fin, j'ai gagné. Je sais le combat, l'arbitre lève la main et là, c'était juste normal. Il y avait ma soeur, il y avait ma chérie, on était tous contents. Je suis pressé de recombattre dans cette arène très très spéciale. Pour mon prochain combat, je vais me préparer encore mieux, pour être encore plus fort, pour être encore plus beau, pour être techniquement au-dessus. Donc c'est simple mon gars, lève la garde haut, parce que j'adore taper dans la tête. June 24, live from Miami, Florida. Oh, big right hand from Samuel Erickson. A welterweight clash between Samuel Erickson and Alexandra Budabek. What a shot. 
Gabriel Varga versus Edgar Scrivers for the number one contender spot in the lightweight division. First time in karate combat history, we have a belt unification. We have our champion, Joshua Quayhegan, versus the interim champion, Rafael Acai. Don't miss KC40, June 24th, Miami, Florida. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.